Well, welcome back. Sorry it's taken a little longer than I had initially thought. However, I want to give you an update on the ETK-30 build, so let's go. So let me show you what we've been doing over the last month and bring you up to date. Before doing that, I thought I'd give you a close-up of how the trampoline track moldings went along the main hull. The forward beam socket fared and primed. The windscreen insert slot. Moving back to the hooky loop. The rear beam, <laughs> rear beam socket. Sorry about that. And of course, the aft end of the boat. And over here, we've got the two floats and dagger boards, fared, primed, and ready for paint. And the beams. Here are most of the components for the propulsion system for the ETK-30. Let's go through them one at a time. The best place to start is with the battery packs. What you're looking at are the 52 volt 14S battery packs for the ETK-30. That power is then run through the controller, which gives the ability of these motors to be operated in reverse. Here are the two 85-165 brushless electric motors. A spec sheet on the motors will also be provided at the end of the video. The motors are mounted to the thrust tube, which are enclosed within the fairings, which in turn retract and extend through the motor mounting brackets. More on that. In just a second. The motors and props described in a previous video are attached to the torsion shaft, which passes through the fairing. The fairing, in turn, passes through the cassette, which is mounted on the transom of the floats. This allows full retraction of the motors when under kite power. It took a little while to figure out and how to do, but I think they came out really well and they should work quite well. Why don't you let me know your opinion? Look forward to it. Next time we'll be discussing paint, livery, and what it's like painting a boat on Maui. So until next time, malama pono, aloha.